In this lesson, we're going to be talking about rigid body models and rotation. Now, so far in the course, we've talked about point particle models, where you just treat something as having only a position and a velocity. For rigid body model, that's not enough. You also have to worry about the fact that the thing is not a point, and that therefore it can rotate. So, for example, if I was just throwing this pen up and down, just wanted to work out, for example, how long it's in the air, I can probably approximate it as a point particle. All I care about is its position. But let's say I hold it like this, and then bang it over here. That's a motion you can't approximate as a point particle because it's a combination of rotation and motion. For a situation like that, you want a rigid body model. A rigid body model assumes that the thing, the object, keeps the same shape. What it can do is move and rotate. So for the pen, you might say its position is defined by the center of mass, and it can move around, or it can rotate, or do some combination of the two. And that's what we're going to be talking about in this lesson. There are no such things as rigid bodies. This pen's pretty close. The sort of stress I'm giving it under, it won't wobble very much. Whereas something like this could definitely not be approximated as a rigid body. You can't model anything like this by a rigid model. But even things we do regard as rigid, like, say, this pen, aren't really rigid. They are vibrating and oscillating in various senses, but often we can ignore that. And even if we can't ignore it, sometimes we can treat more complicated objects as a combination of rigid objects. So, for example, my body, a human body, of course, it's not a rigid object, and I bend. But let's say I'm trying to look at, for example, muscles involved in this motion. I could probably treat it as one rigid body here, one rigid body there, and some forces and torques between them in the middle. So very often, you can model extremely complicated situations as a whole bunch of rigid models.